Welcome to another Chima.io tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to edit your server config file and we will begin with downloading Notepad++. And to do so we need to go to Notepad++ org's homepage. I will put the link in the description. On the left side you will find the download button and you just download the latest installer. When it's done you run it and you should see the language selection window. So we're just going to click through the setup and can leave all this on default and install it. And now we can run Notepad++. So this is basically like a Notepad on Windows um, but with more functionality and it can also um, sometimes Windows editor tends to fuck up line uh, line breaks and with Notepad++ you can avoid this. So you're on the safe side when using Notepad++ to edit your server config file. We're just going to close it for now because we don't need it. And now we can go to FileZilla. So we're just going to open FileZilla now and connect to the server we set up last time. For me it's called Chimad.eu. And when we're connected we're going to browse to your server folder, then CFG. And in that folder you should find the server.cf G file. You right click it and click view edit. Then you choose use a custom program and search the installation of Notepad++. It's usually in programs and on Notepad++ and then you can also tick the box below which says always use selection for anothea Enunciated files. Oh my god, my English. Sorry, guys. Um, so just take that and it should download. And here we go. This configuration file basically gives the server commands. So you should try to not fuck up the layout because then it's mostly going to be broken or give you a lot of errors in the console. The host name is what your server is called. The standard is Chimat Server by Chimat.eu. And you can just um, remove the inner part and say, like, Marcus Awesome Server. The Archon password should always be um, very strong, and you should not use any names or the server name or your name or whatever always use something secure like this and keep it private do not give this to any people you don't trust basically when you have an admin um, add-on installed there is no need to give the Archon password to anyone if you're not going to use Archon you can just simply leave it out this will work as well and means that Archon is completely disabled. The SV underscore password is for the server, the, pa uh, the password for the server. So if people want to join, um, they must enter this password before they can actually join. If you want to have a private server and if you only want to play with your friends, you can put a password in here and give that password to your friends. All these um, convars are basically for the sandbox game mode. Um, when you're using dark roleplay, dark roleplay is based on sandbox. That means uh, it uses this convars as well. 
there are other con uh, console variables below and as we land should always be zero um, if you change this people won't be able to connect anymore so just leave it voice enable one says yes in-game voice is activated when you set it to zero um, people will not be able to speak in-game anymore over the voice chat. Of course they will they will be able to use the normal chat but they won't be able to use the voice chat anymore. As we all talk it means that teams can teams are global. The voice is not per team but global. This really depends on what game mode you're using. When you're using sandbox you can leave it at one. You should um, take a closer look at your setup to fit it on your needs. Net, net max file size, leave it at um, 64 as this is the maximum and it will always try to to send the files to the to the user connecting. If you set this to something lower people are mostly or will mostly get um, file missing or well it will just result in problems, so just leave it at the at the highest uh, file size, which is, which is 64. This is the no clip speed. You can play around with this if you feel like. Um, allow download and allow uh, upload are all pretty much explaining themselves. Um, it means that people can download from your server and they can upload. Upload is not uploading, not in uploading files or add-ons. It is in uploading, um, for example, the spray. The spray is a VMT file which is uploaded to the server. You don't necessarily need to enable upload. You can disable it as well. It depends on you. Fast download. We will take a look at that uh, in another tutorial. For now, we just leave it. Um, these convars here, the bandwidth uh, rates and settings, should not be changed if you don't know what you're doing. You will mostly fuck up stuff, so do not play around with those variables. They're fine, they're just fine um, how they are in here. We have tested those and it will work just fine. Server logging is another chapter. Um, you can turn it on. But there is really no reason to do so because logs in Gary's mod are pretty fucked up. They will mostly generate only empty files and we also provide a special module for our customers which is enabled um, and this should not you should not need to enable logging in the server config file. Below there are execute there are executions of banned files that means banned users and banned IP .cfg. Just leave it in. It's mostly internal stuff. So when you're banning someone by using the ban IP command, it will be written in a separate file and this file will be executed on server load. Below here you could now um, enter other console variables and so on. For now, we'll just leave it. I, as you see here, it uh, turned red. The, the floppy disk turned red. That means we changed the file. And we're now saving it by file save and closing it. FileZilla asks us um, if we want to upload the new file. And of course, we click yes. So now we can restart the server. We'll take a short while, okay. And once we restart the server, the effects will, uh, the changes will take effect. So this is everything basically. Um, you can do this with every file. You can just download it, edit it, and upload it again. The server configuration is really not that bad, and when you when you install further add-ons, they will mostly ask you to, or they will mostly have configuration files which you can uh, download and upload the same way. It's very easy, and that's it. 
I hope you understood everything. If you still have questions, you can of course contact our support at support.chima.eu. And we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please subscribe. Thank you.